hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in again today hope you guys are doing good um first of all i am wearing clothes by the way like um yeah i, I have a blouse i have a top on but it's an off shoulder top and it's a bit big for me on the arms so it keeps coming down so with my arms down it looks like i'm not wearing any clothes but i i am this is not uh r-rated or uh you know this is we keep it pg off in this channel okay so we are wearing clothes yay okay just wanted to get that out of the way but today's got a bit of a hair video um now i'm not a hair guru um i wouldn't even say i'm a makeup guru i would just say like i I'm, i do what i can i try my best i go with the flow i practice and i just try to perfect my skills like listen i'm learning every day okay i make my own wigs you guys know i say this i make my own wigs i do my own hair so in the bit start when they came to you know hair and everything i used to kind of stay away from frontals um because i just find i just thought like it just looks like hard work whenever i'd watch youtube videos or instagram videos it just looked like hard work to me i don't sew my hair down i wear wigs all the time um and i i make my wigs in a way where it's glueless so i secure my frontals I treat my frontal like um, like a closure almost. I, I secure it with a band and combs, okay? So I don't use glue, I don't use, you know, the gel, anything like that, like, you know, the glue or, or tape or whatever to hold down my frontals. I use a band and a comb, and then I use a bit of hair gel just on the sides to lay the edges and lay a few baby hairs. I'm not the, you know, excessive baby hair type either, like just a few, a little bit if it's necessary. That's just kind of always been my style. Um, I'll show you on one of my other wigs because I actually have an, another wig here. This is a frontal, you know, a full frontal here. So I use a band at the back and then I sew in combs like in the middle. So I, I kind of slide it in in this bit here so that I know that I won't fall off. Um, and then if I need to kind of like lay, you know, baby hairs or whatever, that's what I'll do. So this is basically what this is as well. But lately, I'm not gonna lie guys, I have been thinking about trying the got to be gel okay because i'm like i feel like i'm missing out i feel like i'm the only one who doesn't use it my sister uses it her friends use it my fr like people i know who wear frontals use it i see it all over instagram and i'm like yo i i feel like i'm missing out the glueless frontal it, it, it can lay and you can see like my hair is it looks good it's fine it's laid it's laid good but i feel like it can be better i feel like it could be laid for example if i show you like here like for example, this won't stay down because you understand what I'm saying, it needs like glue. But usually I just kind of cover that anyway with just like my hair or whatever. I feel like it's not necessary, but I feel like for me to have that kind of like proper lay down style and for me to be able to put my hair up, even though I can, if I really wanted to, I can. I just use a bit of like gel and then I let, and then I tie my hair down. So I, I could, but I just feel like it's still not as, the way I see on Instagram, I'm like, I want my hair to be like that, okay? Brini Lee, who's a YouTuber I've been following, like, since I started YouTube, I've been following her. She did this video about, um, they lie to you, sis, like, the true story about frontals. So I was like, I've got to watch this. And then she had, like, the got to be gel on the front uh, thumbnail. I was like, no, 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 I've got to watch this video, like, I, I want to see what she's talking about. So I watched the video, and I ended up watching it from start to finish, actually. And she was just talking about how, you know, People don't tell you the truth about frontals. You see all these Instagram videos, everything is laid. They just come from the salon, it's laid, laid, laid. But the next day, the frontal is all crusty and white and it's hard to, and then you've got to wash the glue off and it's hard to lay back down the way you did it in the, they did it in the salon for you. It's hard to maintain, basically just talking about how it's hard to maintain and you know, don't get it twisted and think, you know, once you leave the salon, your hair's gonna be like that for like two, three weeks. It's like literally by the next day, you're in trouble <laughs> if you don't know what to do with your hair. Watch that video. I will link that video in the description bar below. I think it's a definitely a very insightful video. I'm glad she did it um, when it comes to frontals. So if you're thinking about frontals and you're nervous about frontals, watch that video first before going ahead, okay? I already bought the gel anyway by this point. So the gel's here. I literally just bought it, like, um, yeah, two days ago, I just bought it. I even had to call my sister, like, is it the black one or is it the yellow one, whatever, like, honestly. And I know it comes with this other spray thing as well, but I was like, I ain't buying that. 
I don't even know if I'm even going to use this gel after today, okay? I just wanted to test it out for fun, okay? I want to see if it's something that I can use on a daily basis or if I should just stick to my glueless frontals, okay? I don't know. We're going to try it out and I thought it would be fun to just test it out on camera. Let me just see what's up. So I'm not using this wig. I'm going to take this wig off and I'm actually going to use the one that I just showed you before. Both of these wigs are from Yelita Hair. This is Malaysian. This is Malaysian straight, but I curled it and this is very like low maintenance of frontal but like i said i treat it like a closure um and this is just very low maintenance this is 16 inch like very nice short like i've been wearing this hair literally every day since i've got it and then this one is this is longer so this is 22 inches this is brazilian yeah brazilian body wave um so you can see this is much much longer and of course it's a you can see it's a frontal as well so i'm actually going to do the test um of this got to be gel with this hair i'm going to take this one off and use this one um just because i prefer how i did the front so i actually um customized this one like much better like this one i was a bit lazy let's get into this and let's see if i can lay down my frontal with this got to be gel the way they do it on uh youtube instagram whatever okay or if i'm gonna look crazy okay guys so basically i have just um taken off the other wig and i've just put this one on okay so yeah i'm just i haven't put it on fully because obviously i still need to put on the the gel the most times that i see people put the glue like here and i'm like does that not ruin the makeup like i don't know i guess i guess maybe you do it before you put your makeup on i guess but like they put it kind of in front of the hairline so i guess oh gosh okay i'm nervous about this i really am but i'm not gonna put it like too forward because i don't want it to ruin my makeup but I'll put it just, just I guess, just in front of the hairline. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to blow dry it now. I was told not a, um, a high heat, uh, a high heat, so like a medium heat. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how long I'm supposed to be doing this for. And I guess I'm supposed to start laying it down now. So I think you need to lay it down like a section at a time. I'm a bit lost. It's not sticking down. It's literally not sticking. Okay, it is. Okay, it is in some places. It's, it, it is in some places, so I don't know if I maybe dried it too long. I think I might have dried it too long. Like there, it's not sticking at all. But like here and here, like here, it's sticking down. Okay, and here it's okay. So let me try and let me try and put a little bit more. Let me try and put a bit more gel here. For the most part, it's it's um it's fine. We we got there. Oh god, it's it's proper like oh, glued down, isn't it? I forgot to mention in the beginning that I've stayed away from this. Another two reasons actually. One is because I was always afraid about my edges. I just about have edges, okay? And um, especially when I went natural, like my edges, you know, started growing back. And then the second thing as well is that I've seen some lace front tools okay that have been glued down and it just looks atrocious i'm sorry i've seen some that look amazing and i see some that look atrocious i see some with like a white residue just looking crusty and flaky for these reasons i've just stayed away from the, the whole glue thing and got to be gel thing because i'm just like nah as you can see it's it's glued down it's glued down it's lifting a little bit here don't know why but maybe i need to add a bit more I don't, don't want to add too much. I'm just going to secure my wig at the back with my band like I normally do. Wow, this is, is actually glued to my to my headpiece. Like, I don't know why it's making me laugh because 
and just laid it down really nice. I like it. Just laid it down nicely, and you can, you know, I can put it up and do whatever I want to do with it, which is nice. I think I'm struggling with this side a little bit, but it's still, yeah. Just quickly styled the hair, just put a few like waves in it and um, yeah. So what I will say about this got to be gel is that it definitely lays down the edges, it lays down the, the hair and it makes it look really really nice. But I still feel like it's time consuming, like I still feel like you know I need to do that, I need to blow dry it, I need to you know and then at the end of the day as well I'm most likely going to have to kind of like carefully use water to kind of lift the wig up and I could only imagine the amount of residue it's going to leave on the wig as well. I haven't got time to be washing my frontal every couple of days and washing off glue from my frontal and doing all of that. Like for me it's just the time consuming thing and then also like my edges, I'm scared of my edges, I don't want to lose my edges. So there are a bit of a few cons with the, the glue you know on the frontal like like I said there's no denying it looks amazing like I can see a few flakes though now that it's dried a bit. I can see a few flakes in some places, not not a lot, but you know, I guess I could use a bit of oil or something just to like take that off. But again, it's just that extra step. I'm having to like, you know, clean off any mistakes and any flakes and things like that. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, like it, it looks good, but honestly, I don't know if I've got time for this. I, I really don't know if I've got time for this. I, I, I don't know. Like I feel like I can still achieve the same kind of look even just without the glue. Like I, the way I set up my wigs and the way I do, I do my wigs, I can kind of achieve it without this. Like, and the way it's just glued to my head, I don't know how I feel about this. But for me, I just feel like it's time consuming. I don't think I've got energy for this every morning or every day when I wanna wear my wig. Um, but maybe once in a while, maybe if I'm going out and I've got a bit more time to get ready and I really wanna lay it down proper, proper, then yeah, I'll probably do that. So let me know, have you guys tried this? Do you guys prefer glueless wigs? Do you guys prefer using this? What do you feel? What, what do you like? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, this uh, is from Ulyssa Hair. Check them out. All their details will be in the description bar below. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling myself. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel guys and hit that notification bell so you never miss, never miss videos for me and I will see you on my next one guys. Take care. Bye.